share the wealth. Tell us who the doctors are. You know, she used to do Simon yeah. Orion. And she's got a new one for injections that and lasers that Kim goes. She, she promotes them. But I want to know who did the face other than Garth Fisher. So, you know, I think it's important we share the wealth and then, share you know, the and, and like and show who you're going to. You know, like Teddy shared her Teddy person did. with me. Yeah. I asked and she gave it to me. Well, what about Kyle, who just does not want to admit? She says I mean, she, she works hard. She admitted she had a nose job, but I had two breast reductions, and they grew back. And the second one was fabulous, but he didn't take the sides off. And I need to get it done redone because of menopause. And I was I don't know her that well anymore. Like, when we work together, Kyle. we knew each other. Yeah, I'd love to know who her breast uh, doctor is. So, Kyle, if you're listening, will you DM, DM me? Because I know you told Andy on Watch What Happens. And I know Kyle. She would have found a great doctor. She even told me who her nose person was before she went to that guy. Now, here's my question, though. Say someone- and she looks gorgeous, by the way. She looks gorgeous, but when someone finds a needle, like, in her garbage, like, the train has left the station. Kind of like Melissa Gorga, who, you know, says she went on the show, and Teresa knew, and now it comes out she went on by. But like, I mean- Like, Kyle uh, is down the rabbit hole now. I mean, but I've, when they- when Okay, well, let's talk about Margaret Justice, because she's our friend. Does and she, she's doing she, she both, and peptides. It, yeah, and, and she gave Jill connections. Like, we're, we know what's nice about it. When we're in- It's like a high school. We we all share when they're when it's a good person, not a mean person. When yeah. it's a good person, we share like the wealth. You sent me your info all the time. I've, I've, I've referred I, your I, people I, to I my went girl. to this woman back in the day called the Beauty Broker. You can find her on uh, hey, Instagram. And I paid for her to give me consults. And she gave me Dr. Appa. I had seen Kyle get her teeth done. I had seen Margaret get her teeth in. And I went to Dr. Appa and I did my entire teeth. And it changed my game. I had veneers from 20 years ago that needed to be redone. I went in for two sessions. It didn't hurt. Like Margaret was like, Patty, it's not going to hurt. You're going to have a great time. And he is my my dentist now. I mean, he is amazing. So uh, he's the I think guy. When, I think when they talk about it and share it, They've done their research. These girls are smart. Now, Melissa, you know, she came from, you know, a dancer background. She is naturally gorgeous. Like, she has the natural body we all strive for. I mean, she's. Yeah. And I mean, she might have breast implants and all yeah. that. But like she has a nose But job she has a that. skinny, great body yes. that's fight, tight and firm. A lot of us didn't get there. So a lot of us who are getting skinny now for the first time in life are getting bashed by the skinny people. Like there's some bashing going on because Mindy Callen got skinny. You know, it's like leave her she alone. Did? Yo, she's a oh. twig now. Leave her oh. alone. I love Mindy Callen. She, to oh, leave Zempic. her alone. Like why are you so mean to these people? Because they don't want to share that they're on it. It's a privacy thing. And then on top of it, they're showing that they're skinny you know, like like Andy said, 20, 30 pounds lighter on cover. What's wrong with that if they choose to do it? But the skinny people are coming for them and like they making are. them feel like you're going to get cancer or you're going to get thyroid cancer or whatever. Also, like Kyle said, you know, oh, I go to the gym. I don't want anyone to think mm -hmm. I took a shortcut. I don't really think this this shot is a shortcut. It's a, a lot of miserable well, I mean, days. If Kyle's on the gym and doing that at the same time, which we don't know, then Kyle really has it down. And the eating is what gets it down. Like I go to Dr. Reed. A-listers go to Dr. Reed, Dominic Reed. She is, she does a holistic thing with me. She just says, look, it's your eating, it's your resting heart rate, you know, it's basically taking like, it, you know, injections, like I do glutathione, which A, prevents COVID and immune issues, because I have a, I, I have Hashimoto's. And, yeah, and it's a, you know, thyroid disorder. So I go and get the full workup and then we, I do like the IV, liquid IVs. Jeff does them too. It's like, we're doing a lot of stuff. We're doing peptides. I think Margaret does that too. I have that too. Right. So we all I've do, done pe it once. I do and I have peptides the shots to make your skin look amazing. Really? So we're all do doing that. that. And yes, am I spending money? Outside of insurance, sometimes it's not covered by insurance. Like my Botox is covered for my headaches. It is? Oh, oh yeah, man. for my headaches because I go to a neurologist to do it, who's, by the way, amazing. Dr. Chang, Marissa Chang in I want uh, my Santa Botox Monica. Covered. She is amazing. Huh. But but you have to understand it's I get cluster headaches, I get migraines. And so we're spending money because, like, I remember um, Helen Barkin said, like, people said something to her about her doing something. And she goes, well, this is my job. Oh, she was skinny. This is my job. Our job to be on camera is to look good. Uh, I mean, they don't want to hire ugly that. people that are overweight. They're not attractive. Unless, you Although know, Hollywood's changing now. I'm upset, though, or we're getting – I'm upset that, like, the Kardashians got skinny and now everybody's getting skinny and now we're going back to Kate Moss era because I kind of liked when it was curvy. Listen. I like Lizzo era. 
You did, the Kardashians I like when it's are... body positive. Now, I'm doing this because I gained weight over the holidays. I went a little eaty crazy. We talked about it. It you makes know? you feel and good I about And I feel yourself. sexual. It's like I told you, I'm horny. I can't believe that. This yeah. drug. I feel well, so sexual. Speaking of that, mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm not outing you as your friend because you did go Instagram official with him. Like, you have a boyfriend now. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. I didn't even expect that. I went on Tinder. Well, this is what happened. I want to do my own app. I've had a lot okay. of people come to me with their new apps to get into business with me in an equity position, but they don't have cash. And I'm not doing an app unless the cash is there. And I want it to be one that like the Match Group or Blackstone would buy, like something real, you know? And so we get a lot of offers, but I didn't like any of them so far. And so I wanted to understand the apps. And I loved Bumble, the way she laid it out. I loved Tinder because it's got the mass of people. I don't love... The fact that they don't care about, you know, people. Like, in other words, they're selling, you know, super likes, booths, and ads. And they don't really care whether you get in a relationship. There's no community. But I wanted to learn. So I went on Tinder. And the men are more alpha there than they are on Bumble and some of the other apps. And I saw David. And he had this cute little picture of in Australia. His son lives in Australia with a kangaroo feeding a kangaroo. That's cute. That to me, so he was go a little gorgeous, you know, salt and pepper kind of cute guy. And I was like, all right, I'll go out with him. And then like three dates in, he, I think it was my birthday or something. He said, you know, will you be my girlfriend? And I said, no, not yet. I need to know who you are. So I went super slow. Following your own rules. Yes, I used become my ma become your own matchmaker. But but I was I also had a coach. So this is something I don't talk about. So I'm super into manifestation, and I hired Ines Farelli from YouTube, who's one of the manifestation coaches, and she trained my brain to believe that love is out there and it's available to me at my age because I thought my age would block it. And sure enough, it worked, and we created a course called Manifest Love, which is – you can go on my bio and find it and li link to it. And she gave these, like, amazing secrets from, like, you know, the law of attraction. But it's not just Abraham. She does uh, Neville Goddard, and I never knew who Neville Goddard was. And the system works. So we created that. You can buy it. It's a great course. Um, and it was what I used. And if this doesn't work out, I'll do it again. So it's like I know now that love is available to me no matter if I'm 80. You only thought your age was a barrier because well, you mean, live in Los Angeles. And my looks. But, you know, I, I'm not a 10. Um, but I also had this issue with money where um, it's not a lot of successful men here. I know you think it's L.A., but the ones that are available online – don't really have money and they don't really care. They're Peter Pans. They live on the beach in the one bedrooms or they live with roommates at 50 and they're still trying to make it in Hollywood. That's our industry. It's not Wall Streety. So it was hard. And there was a point where I said, I'm going to go move back to Miami because that's my happy place. I went to college there. I lived there for 10 years and I loved it. And all Your the friends with Marisol. Yeah, Marisol chills down there in Boca. Like, and all my friends, all my old friends live there. And I could have moved there in five minutes and had a very strong posse. You know, I could have been a Miami housewife. Just well, kidding. you could Andy, have been. Andy, I'm dying to be on an ensemble.